or yeah. I, well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is what's gonna happen for right now. <laughs> yeah, I can talk to your dog. I'm I talk to dogs a lot. So. I'm like, she just needs to be up here. Okay, so I'm going to post this link so that everybody can see it. Okay. Because we're, we're technically live now. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> It'll be able to tell us how many people are watching, too. So, All right, and I'm going to take these directly from, from Twitter, too, and then um, people that can't watch it right now live will be able to watch this all afterward on YouTube. It, it automatically records. So Forever and ever. <laughs> yeah, forever and ever, exactly. So, okay, well, let's start with um, somebody, the first one I think that I got was, um, they wanted to know about the uh, the Yoko thing, about being on tour with the band, you know, because uh, Kiyomi yeah. said in one of the, the last episodes of the show that you typically girls don't come on the road with Hunter Valentine, so how is that going? Well, I think they had, they had their own kind of idea of what should happen, you know, on tour. And they're very focused, you know, and I think it's a really good idea not to have a significant other around a lot. I think it's, you know, I think it's smart. But I think I get along with them all really well, and I, I'm also helping out, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm carrying gear with them into the venues, and, um, you know, I try to help out and try to be as, uh, pleasant and fun as I can so so that no one feels like I shouldn't be there um, and I, th I think it's funny too because on the episode she's the one that brought it up and I was like well yeah okay cool and then everyone's like whoa, whoa, whoa Lauren wants to come on to her so it was she actually brought it up and I think we want to be together all the time so I, I don't think it's any different um, you just, just disappeared. I did? Yes. Oh, and then you're back. Oh, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to be on the entire tour, obviously. I'm just meeting them in certain places. And I came with them to Canada, actually, um, as a fluke. It, um, it kind of as turned... A fluke? <laughs> yeah, it was sort of like uh, I was supposed to leave Sunday morning. And I was going to purposely, I, me and Cammie talked about me purposely missing my flight so I could actually hop on a later flight because it was such an early flight. Um, but then I actually, my flight was... Sorry, hold on. For some reason, the the volume went out. That is weird. What happened? I mute. There we go. Okay, I don't know what happened. That was so weird. That's w really weird. Did I? Did you hear any of that? Uh, yes, I did. But then all of a sudden, when you were asking me, you were probably like, "Why aren't you responding to me?" <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. So what's the weirdest? Like, we're just gonna watch you. Oh, yeah. We're just going to watch you. You just look pretty. That's all you need to do. Um, so what's the weirdest thing that's happened to you um, since you've been on tour with them? Is there anything that you didn't know happened with, on a rock star sort of tour that you were like, this is a whole different side of you? Um, no, nah, I mean, I've hung out with these girls so much. I, I don't think anything took me by surprise. I think the only thing I may be surprised about is how calm the van is. It's like this is the time for everyone to chill and sleep. And it doesn't really get wild and crazy and out of control. I think, uh, you know, after some of the shows, we it's like we do two hours basically of like signing stuff and um, taking pictures. So by the time we're done um, at the venue that we've been at, we're super tired and no one wants to like go party or anything. So the van is pretty chill and I was surprised about that. <laughs> you expected them to be like, like more rock stars yeah. or what? Pretty, yeah. I mean, I, I I didn't really have any idea, but I thought, you know, I was surprised that it was so calm. And I think um, it's also a lot of sleeping. Like, you get every chance you can, you just sleep. <laughs> so, I mean, I've been, I've been working from the road, basically. Like, I have my computer, and I'm just, especially in Canada, it's been so annoying because I, ca I can't turn my phone on. So... I'm like, you know, getting Wi-Fi wherever I can and yeah. communicating with my assistant and just trying to get everything done while I'm on tour. But it's like, I, I'm going back tomorrow and I think 
I'm the kind of person where I'm a little stressed out. I'm, I'm okay to go back tomorrow because I have a lot to do. Yeah. Well, that's another question. I mean, obviously, people want to know what's going on with the jewelry line. I see a lot of people want to buy it, but you are so expensive. <laughs> yeah. I think, you know, even before the show uh, started filming, my friends, family, people were like, you're not going to be able to really – sell any of this jewelry. It's really expensive. Um, it's kind of for like an older demographic that has a lot of money. I can, I can completely, um, see that, but my whole vision for my line was fine jewelry and I'm all for making really high quality, lower priced pieces, but I've always wanted to keep the integrity of, you know, really well-made jewelry. That's, you know, pretty much made per order. So I'm trying to get this all done in the best way possible. And I have a couple items that have come out, like the quality ring that have done really well because they're pretty moderately priced considering. And uh, I have a couple more rings that I'm just, they're just about to, just about to hit. But I, I'm so busy with so many things right now. It's like, I need to hire like a team and I just don't, I just can't afford it so yeah. I'm just doing the best I can right now and I I do want to get a but I want to do like an entire line that's between you know 50 to 200 dollars or something so yeah I don't you want everybody to wear your stuff don't you I mean some of the stuff yeah I, yeah, I do um I also have a lot of um custom jewelry that I'm doing like wedding rings and engagement rings so that's keeping me really busy. Um, so it's, you know, and that's my favorite, that's my favorite thing to do is to make, you know, one of a kind pieces for, for couples. Um, so I've been doing that a lot and, um, yeah, so it, it's, it's on my plate. I'm, I know all about it. I hear people talking about it and I, and I definitely want to do it. So. Cool. Well, what about the equality thing? The thing that you're working on for uh, President Obama? I'd love to hear about it. Well, the, the bracelet for Obama is um, their campaign word slogan is forward. Um, they contacted me to do a bracelet, and it, it, it's not an equality thing. It's just um, it's basically for the campaign. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually the bracelets should be done tomorrow. Pretty much when they're done, I have to get the photo up on the site, get it all ready to roll because I know a lot of people want them. Um, it's really exciting. I think it's a really cool bracelet. I'm so happy the way it turned out. Um, it looks cool. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. So basically, I'm going to be selling these, and I don't have like a formal contract with, you know, the campaign, but I'm going to be donating proceeds to the campaign. Um, okay. It was them that thought of the idea. So, um, you know, it's pretty cool. Pretty yeah, cool. it definitely is. And um, I was wondering, do you have anything to do with um, Amanda's bar at all? Are you um, involved with it anyway from just being her friend? <laughs> um, you know, she she's in New York right now. I'm in Canada, but she's right in the process of, like, getting all the little pieces put together. And she's asked me for help in terms of, like, does the menu look good? You know, do, do you think we should do this? Do you think we should have this at this price? And, like... She's definitely asking me a lot of questions. Um, my stepdad's in the in the restaurant business, so um, I'm happy to you know help her out. Yeah. Any anything that I know about it, I don't know much, but um, also I think you know Kiyomi knows a lot because um, she she's worked in the industry for a long time. But um, right now it's just it's about to open. I'm sure once it opens, I'm going to be helping out a lot, and um, it's going to be I think it's going to be a lot of work, obviously. And I think they're going to be learning a lot. And it's a great idea. I think it's going to do really well. The menu looks amazing. So I think, you know, I'm going to help her out as much as I can. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, um, are you, one of the questions I keep getting is, um, what are you and Kiyomi thinking about as far as marriage goes and any plans to make, you know, the obvious next step for you guys? What What is that going to be? <laughs> well, that's what I was about to say about we're going to be back in New York in November. Um and we are, you know, we're thinking about what the next step is. Obviously, we're not, I think it's a little too early to um, get married. But we, you know, from some early days, we've discussed it. I think um, we both know we want to be with each other. So uh, I think it's, like, going to be an obvious step someday. Um, but just not tomorrow. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, we have, I think, some time. You know, I don't think you need to rush into that. You know, I think it's really smart to wait. And um, not only that, I think people take it seriously. You know, I, I want, I would love for people to take our relationship seriously. We always have. And I think, especially meeting on a TV show, there is a sense of people not taking, I mean, all I hear is like wonderful outpouring of love for us, but I know there's people out there that are like, yeah. Right, they're not going to last like another month. Blah, blah blah. So I want people to know like how amazing and serious our relationship is, and take it seriously. And you know, getting married tomorrow is not going to help. That, right. So. Well, I mean, I think a lot of people uh, just wonder if it was manufactured for TV. I mean, do you still run uh, into people that are like, "Oh, so you're really together?" <laughs> um, I haven't heard that. It, I've heard that a manufactured thing a few times, but not a lot. I've heard. Oh, you're still together, or are you still together? Just wondering if we are or not. And then when they see us together, like, wow, you guys are really real. You know, it's it's not some. It was definitely ask the producers. They were not planning it. They, it was not on their agenda at all. Um, I have no idea if they even discussed the possibility of it even happening with any of the you know characters or people on the show. So I know when it started happening, I was like. Well, guys, this is going to be interesting, you know, because we both really like each other. So I think, um, I think, you know, I knew at the time it was going to be, if we stayed together, something awesome to watch later. You know, like we have our first days of our relationship documented, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty rad. I mean, so ha have you guys heard anything about um, the next season yet? Do you have any idea if there is going to be one and if you'll be part of it? Um, we actually don't hear anything right now. It's okay. radio silence. Um, I, I couldn't tell you, um, if I knew anything I would say, but they haven't even said, yeah, this and this, but don't tell anyone. You know, we haven't heard anything. Okay. Um, I think the fact that we're continuing, you know, the summer Friday stuff is still going on every couple weeks. Um, I think the fact that that's still happening, it's probably a good indication, but that's just my opinion. Um, I'm not really sure if, you know, or uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's an indication or not, but to me, I think that that might mean it's coming back. Well, I but mean, to me, it's been interesting that they still want to obviously do press for you guys. I mean, the fact that Showtime wanted to do a Whitney and Summer chat after the show was over and things, you know, I mean... To me, it seems yeah. like, okay, they're still wanting to capitalize on this, so there's got to be something to it, right? Yeah, exactly, and that's that was my thought, too, and I know that Eileen was really, really happy with um, this season, so um, I think they should bring it back. I think it'd be fun to uh, to watch what's going on now and or whatever in the later months next year, but um, yeah, we'll see. We should know soon. We should know really soon. Okay. Well, somebody asked me, I don't know if you can um, talk too much about this, but um, uh, because it's, I guess, part of like your contract, but uh, people were curious about the sort of clause you sign as far as nudity or like what sex or what you'll let people, what the cameras show and what you won't let them show. Um, you know, they ask, they ask us and, uh, you know, they ask what we're comfortable or what comfortable with. Uh, I always said, I don't want to have sex on camera, um, which they stayed true to. I don't think it was never even like recorded. Um, there, you know, there was some some boobage in there and some hooking up, but there's. I, I don't think I'll ever do the sex on camera. Um, but I think you get so comfortable with the cameras, and you kind of you want to tell a real story. You know, you want to really show real life mm -hmm. and as much as possible, and um, it just starts to be more comfortable. And our, you know, our mainstream TV always shows straight sex, and it's kind of like, well, why can't we show gay sex? You know, it's it's that whole thing where it's like, well, I don't know, we kind of want to be equal in that sense. But, um, you know, I think if nothing was shown, if there was no hookups shown or no sex, I think the, the stories and the show would be different. You know, I think... If you stop it there, it just kind of doesn't, you know, it, it just cuts it short a bit. Um, and for whatever reason that is, you know, it's just, 
um, and whether you want to watch it or not, you know, with some people. But um, I think I think it's important. But I think it's I think it's good to keep it classy and keep it kind of uh, um, not over the top, like insane, crazy orgies or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, someone asked why we didn't see any of your family members on there. Um, or, well, if you were, was that something like that you just didn't want them to be involved, they don't want to be involved, or did you just not visit any family during the time of the filming? Oh, um, I, there were so many people that they were watching. I think um, my family got cut. It was, um, we actually went down to San Diego where they live, and two separate times. Um, the first time they completely interviewed my dad, um, and he's he's pretty old, and it was adorable. I mean, I probably shouldn't talk about this, but they interviewed my dad. They interviewed, um, and we had lunch. Me and Amanda had lunch at my stepdad's restaurant. Um, and then the second time, I went and saw my dad again, and I had lunch with my mom. And I also had lunch with my mom in L.A. another time. And they didn't show any of that. Um, that's why I say, like, you know, it's such a small amount that they show, I mean, I, yeah, they filmed, like, my, my mom and my dad a lot, so. Maybe it was not that uh, dramatic or something, you didn't have, like, a big... <laughs> yeah, maybe there was, maybe we weren't cute enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure you just didn't have any drama, you didn't have any drama. No, yeah, <laughs> we, we don't hate each other enough, no, I mean, I don't think they've shown much negativity in terms of family, I think they've shown a lot of, um, you know, the issues that deal with, like, parents and children that are gay. And I think my parents are very accepting. They're amazing, and they're really sweet. I think what happened with, like, a couple of the lunches with my mom was, like, I was explaining to her why I wanted to be single and um, why, what, what was so wrong with that because I had a lot of people kind of being like, well, why, you know? Um, and... So I don't know. I thought it wasn't part of the storyline, so they didn't yeah. include it, you know. Yeah, but they were involved. They were there for you, and they could yeah. have been on the show. It just they just weren't. So yeah, exactly. My mom was kind of excited. She's like, hey, Aww. She's <laughs> so what's but, your relationship like with the rest of the girls from the show now? Um, obviously, I've obviously I have seen that you're friends with them, but people that don't see you out, and you know, when you're in their city or whatever, they want to know. What's the, what are you, are you friends in real life with everybody? Yeah, um, well, I see Whitney and Sada quite a lot. Um, you know, they just moved away. They actually live on my street in L.A., mm. and they lived there before we even became really good friends. It's just kind of a funny coincidence. But they just moved away from my street, so and, like, kind of far, so I'm kind of upset. Um, and so when I get back, I'm going to go visit them and check out their new place. I think they're they're nesting, so they want to kind of get away from the crazy, you know, center of the lesbian world and kind of nest a little bit, um, which is cute. So I see them a lot. We talk a lot. Um, actually, Corey and Casey, we've talked about having like a little barbecue once uh, the band is in California. They do some tour dates in California, so we've talked about doing like a little barbecue with them. We every time we see them, we get closer. They're amazing, and I. You know, we all want to hang out, so I think we're going to do that. Um, and, you know, I've been in New York for the past few months, uh, you know, and been with around Amanda and obviously with Kiyomi, but um, Amanda and I were living uh, in the same apartment, but then I decided to go back to L.A., you know, what, um, three or four weeks ago. So I've been in L.A. while she's been in New York, and she's opening the bar and all that. So... I'm going to be kind of hanging out in L.A. for a bit before I head back to New York in November. So, yes, yeah, so Amanda and I are still friends. Had a little rough spot watching the show, not to not going to lie, but, um, you know, we sort of sorted that out. Um, and, yeah, it was some of, the, some of the stuff was a little hard to watch, stuff that she said and stuff, but I think, you know, we'll always be friends and, I'm a forgiving person. I don't think any of it was like unforgivable. So, um, yeah. Was there anything that you watched yourself say that you're like, I said that? I can't believe I said that. I forgot that I even said that. <laughs> you know? Well, it was, I think it was, 
But a lot of, you know, some stuff I was scared that they were going to show that I said that kind of just came out wrong or, you know, but luckily I think most of you know, wasn't shown. But um, I know that a lot of the stuff with Amanda, like, looked one way and looking back I was like, wow, I should have known they would have interpreted it that way, you know. Um, so how can I say this? Like, I guess, I I don't know, I guess I learned my lesson in terms of, like, being a little too, um, like, wanting to be around my friend too much when she was just driving to town. I don't know. I, I guess how I acted about her um, was interesting to watch because I didn't realize that um, it was coming across that way. That's okay. Everybody has had those moments. I've, I've had those moments myself, so I understood where you were coming from when you were yeah. talking about the Brit and Al situation. Yeah, like, she just driving into town, and I was like, can I just hang out with my friend, please? And it is not because I'm jealous of you. Right, you're not, like, in love. You're just like, I just want you for myself as a friend. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> and, like, that, even though we're gay, that you can still want to hang around your friend. Totally, exactly. So but, I have a question about your hair. I like your black tips, and I was wondering what made you decide to do that. Um, I, let's see, I've wanted to do black or any kind of color on the tips of my hair for a long time, actually. I thought about doing it seriously 10 years ago, and I just have never done it. Um, and so I went in to get my hair dyed, just like the, I get my roots done, and I do the pink myself. So I went in to get my roots done, I'm like, I just want to do something new, I'm kind of bored, can you just dye the ends, and she just did it quickly, and... <laughs> Um, that was ironically the same day as like the hair Twitter war thing. I didn't know if I should bring it up. I didn't know if you wanted to talk about it. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to talk about it, but it, it just happened to be on the same day. It just, it wasn't like I ran off and like did something different to my hair. Yeah. And I kind of related though. No, I'm just curious. So what is your relationship like with Kelsey now? Are you guys friends? Oh yeah. We're, we're actually good friends. We, we were talking throughout, um, the show, you know, we actually didn't talk that much before the show aired, but once it started to air, we, you know, we're talking over the phone, texting and stuff. Um, we were in touch. And... But love there. Um, yeah, I mean, we're friends. Of, you know, she's... I'm really glad that people see how great she is. Yeah, she seems like a, a good, genuine person. I think a lot of people uh, were Team Kelsey this season. I mean, there's certain people I think that uh, viewers uh, yeah. tended to root for. And I think Kiyomi is one of those people that didn't people didn't root for at first but ended up rooting for in the end. So what was it like to watch, um, you know, someone that you love starting off to be kind of seen as, you know, a dictator sort of in a negative way? Yeah. That's a good question because um, she's actually really, really sensitive, um, and she did not take it well, you know, because she was getting all this kind of backlash in the beginning, um, and it just seemed to her just not real, you know, um, to her personality. You know, it was like one side of things, and, and not to go into detail, but like it, it upset her for sure. And I even said to her, I, I think they're going to probably – Turn your turn your, turn you around. You know it's gonna show another side of you soon. You know, um, and the I since I met her, I never saw that dictator side. Like I never encountered that. So when I watched the show, I, it to me it it actually wasn't a big deal. I was like, it's not that bad. Because maybe because I already knew her. You know, but it didn't seem that bad to me, and she took it really hard. Um, so I just you know I just waited out. There's some weeks there, just like, just try to make her feel better. And, um, you know, I think she finally saw that it turned around and it was starting to show a little more of like her side with me and stuff that, um, it made her feel better, you know? So, I mean, for me to, to watch, it was hard. A lot of stuff was hard to watch, you know? Um, you know, Watching someone you love say I love you to someone else, it's yeah, it sucks. But um, it's like we're we're already so far past that that time, you know, in our lives. So 
Um, I'm just glad that I'm glad the show's, you know, the ending was good and that we're not watching past stuff anymore. <laughs> yeah, I bet. But, but then if it starts again, if it comes yeah. again, you know, next season we'll have to start somewhere, right? So. Well, if we do another season, I think it it's going to be completely different because, well, you know, obviously we've already been together and I think we are a little more savvy to, you know, how how it all works, you know, like what you want to show and um, I, I told myself in the beginning of filming, like, I'm not going to drink and I'm not going to do this and that, but it just all goes out the door. So, I don't know, maybe this time around if it happens, I'll really stick to that because, like, I mean, you saw what happened in Dinah. <laughs> hey, well, now you guys are together, so it's all good, you yeah. know? It was funny because I was doing the one-on-one -on -one interview and the producer's like, so when you started whispering in Sada's ear, you know, or licking her ear, whatever I was doing, I was like, huh? Like, what are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, I'm like you can't just make stuff up. I'm not going to admit to that because that didn't happen. And she's like, yeah, it did. I'm like, did this happen? She's like, no, no, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. She didn't think it happened either. And then we actually watched the show and we're like, that happened. You thought they so, were lying on you. You thought they were making it up. That's I so thought, funny. Yeah, I was like, you guys can't pull this on me. I'm not admitting to something I didn't do. <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> like, all right. Next That's time, uh, I'm going to be on a leash. Like, Kiyomi is going to have me wriggled in. I'm just kidding. Oh, my gosh. That would be amazing. So um, somebody um, asked me on Facebook. They wanted to know about your health. Is, is something wrong with your health? Um... Yeah, I have uh, I have found out something about my health that I mean, it's it's private and I I do I want to talk about it at some point, but I I want to choose like the right time. It's not it's not like a terminal thing. It's nothing yeah. crazy to be worried about. But um, I want to just talk about it in the right time, you know, and um, protect that. But yeah, it was a surprise. Are you doing okay? Are you healthy and fit? And <laughs> yeah, I'm healthy. I'm healthy. Um, it's just like something I have to deal with now, and it's not a sexual transmitted disease. Don't worry. It's like <laughs> I, it's just something I have to live with now. No, it's it's not that. Okay, we were all concerned about the STD that you had. So <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, Lauren, what what do you have? No, don't no, ask me that. Actually, surprisingly. Um, no, but I think at first I really wanted to, like, talk about it. And I know, like, Tumblr has been a good way for me to kind of answer questions and get out some love because I, I get so much love from some people. Um, so it, it was sort of like therapy to, like, talk about it a little bit. But then I just decided it's probably not a good idea right now. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know this about you, but somebody sent me a link that your sister is an actress. So are you? Do you have an acting bug too? Are you going to start doing some stuff? Or, um, yeah, she's an actress. She's uh, been. She's like a big '80s actress, oh. and she's a half sister. So we have the same dad. Um, but I grew up with her, kind of being a much. I mean, she's 15 years older or something. So, uh, or no. 12, 12, 12 years. So she's always been an actress. So she took time off to like have a family and then she went back and did like the Saw movies and all that. So oh. she like started this whole other side of her career. But um, I'm really proud of her. But I've, I'm not, I'm not a good actress. I've never tried, but I can guarantee you I'm sucky. <laughs> you don't know. Kiyomi just started acting. You could be a natural. You don't know. She, well, yeah, that was amazing for her. I, I just don't know if I've never been like, I really want to, it's never been like a passion of mine, but, um, they reached out to her for an audition and it wasn't the first time. So she's like, okay, I'm just going to do it. Cause I, this is like the third time someone's asked me and, uh, she went out and filmed it and they're like, Whoa, she's a natural They're This is like from them. This is not me. They're, they're like really impressed. Actually the, the woman that is producing the movie was the originator of, like, the writer um, from The L Word. And just by coincidence, I don't think 
it, it wasn't like connected at all. She didn't bring Cami in or anything. But anyway, um, she was like, wow, she's really good. And I saw her film a little bit. Um, she's pretty good. That's awesome. So, yeah, I'm excited to see it. I think it's just, it's a short film, but it's going to be, I think you'll be able to see it some places. It looks pretty good. So. Well, what about music? Are you interested in music at all? Because you were up on stage with Hunter Valentine playing the tambourine, so. No, I, <laughs> I was not expecting that. It started in Nashville, and she started bringing me on stage for the last song. Um, and I am not a tambourine player. Like, the first night I was like, this sounds really bad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just going to hope that no one hears. And then, like, the second time I did it, I'm like, okay, I'm getting a little better. I mean, it's not a hard instrument or anything, but it's hard to hear them and listen to them and, like, do it at the same time. Um, and then also try not to look like an idiot and, you know, kiss her when she's like, well, we should never kiss me. Um, but it's fun. It's been so fun. And, uh, yeah, I, I have no idea how, um, if that's going to continue. Like, tonight there's a show in Toronto. Um, who knows? But I know I used to play guitar, but there's no way I'm not. I'm not joining the band. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a singer or a dancer? Uh, my grandma was a singer. I'm. I'm okay. I can definitely do like backup without embarrassing myself. But I'm not <laughs> a singer in any way. I used to dance. Yeah, I used to do ballet. I was on point, like mm. serious ballet, uh, and. Jazz. I don't even know if they call it that anymore. You know? <laughs> like really dating myself, but I I I danced jazz for years. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> um, they probably call it hip hop now or something. Okay. So I'm do you, really do you dance the... when you're out of the club? No, no, no. it was no, no. <laughs> Actually, like I will, I'm rarely out on the dance floor. And neither is Kiyomi. That's what she said. That's what she said. She said the one thing I think that she w is glad that they never showed on uh, the the season was one night when she got wild and started dancing in the club. So <laughs> I love that. I would have liked to have seen that. But uh, so um, I I'm, we'll probably wrap this up. Yeah. She's always, she's always, but um, so uh, lastly, what are you gonna do with yourself with um while Kiyomi's on tour and you're not touring with her anymore? Is it gonna be hard to do this long distance, or what do you think? Well, I, I'll tell you my schedule. I'm actually not even going to be going that, that long without seeing her because uh, a really kind fan is flying me out for Bloomington, Indiana next week. Um, what? Yeah. So thank you to you. I'm not going to say your name because I don't know if you want me to say your name, but thank you to you. Um, so I'll be going to Indiana and then just coming right back to L.A. And then, of course, uh, this is awesome. Amanda and I are doing a party in Austin the same weekend that they're playing. And they're like, do you want us to fly you in a little early so you can see the band? I was like, of course. Yes. Okay. So we're going to be doing that. And then, uh, you know, all the California dates, I'll be there. I'm going to be, I, I'd say most. I don't know about every single one, but my brother lives in San Francisco. So I'm going to meet them up there and do a little coastal drive down with them. And cool. So cool. while I'm not with her, it won't be that much. It'll be like probably 10 days or a week in between. I'm working my butt off. I'm, I'm not even going out. I'm just like sitting at my desk working constantly. I've just got a lot to do. So that is my <laughs> exciting life right now. Well, I'm um, sure that some people are glad and, to hear that real outward people have jobs. Some people have jobs, real life jobs. <laughs> yeah. And, and if only I could get, I mean, I'm looking for help, but I don't know, uh, I don't know if I can, but I, I have an intern in New York who's wonderful, but I'm not there now. So I have a friend in LA helping me. Um, so when I get back to New York, I might be hiring some people. I'm really, I have um, some of my stuff's in Kiki to Montparnasse, uh, and I am doing the custom work, and I'm, I have a, some jewelry in this little boutique called Berlin 65 in Brooklyn. So I'm going to be a busy girl. So I'm, I'll, I'm excited to get back to New York and kind of have a little home life with her a little bit. Definitely. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Lauren. I really appreciate your taking the time to answer yeah. the questions.
No problem. It's been fun and nice seeing you again. Over you. Okay, well, tell Kiyomi that I will see her in Portland when she comes up here and to have a good show tonight. Yeah, I'm sorry that they didn't come back for, so you could say hi. In uh, time. I'll see but, you sometime um, soon, though. But we'll, we'll see you soon. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Bye.